Hello beautiful souls. I'm getting here. It's been a little while since I've done a live. <sighs> Hello beautiful soul. There we go. So I can see the comments. Okay. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done a um, Facebook live. So uh, I'm back. I'm back. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so today, uh, today's training is all about really understanding how you can scale and grow your business without going into overwhelm and burnout. Um, about, um, well, gosh, this was, it actually started back in like 2018 when I started realizing that the way that I was running my life and my business was simply unsustainable. The business was growing and scaling and up leveling and it continued um, every single year to continue to grow. And it was just basically the way that I had was setting things up was from what I like to call the slave girl archetype. I was chasing the money. I was making a lot of money. I was doing a lot of sessions, teaching a lot of classes, but it came at a great sacrifice. I was nearly every weekend, I was running classes or organizing and promoting classes for other teachers. Um, our team were very busy organizing all the events and setting everything up. We were doing about 40 live events in London across hotels. Uh, we were building quite a massive movement in London and across the world with our fitting classes at Bergeon. And we loved the work. Like, I loved um, teaching. I loved empowering people. I loved doing the healing sessions. I grew every time I did a session with a client. Uh, every class, I deepened my understanding of the teachings. And I became a master, a master of of energy healing and and and, and leading a, a, a group of people, a movement around the world to personal growth and development and professional development. So, like I think it was just pure passion that was driving me, but it came in a great sacrifice. It was it was desperately unbalanced, unbalanced. And at that time, I still hadn't cleared a, a lot of my money beliefs that was keeping me in a lot of the slave girl archetype. Where I was chasing the money, chasing my tail. And so got to the point where, yeah, I achieved the goal that I'd always had for a very long time since a very, very young girl. And my goal was to, you know, create a million dollar business. And I, and I, um, uh, I ticked the goal. I think it was 20, 2019, we did like 980,000 pounds. So just, just shy of a million, million pounds. So it was like obviously over a million dollars. And then the following year we did 1.4 million dollars. Uh, and so I was very, very proud of myself and, you know, I hit my, my goal um, and then I would celebrate with my family and we would uh, have a nice bottle of champagne and we'd go for a fancy dinner. It was wonderful. I'll obviously be jumping around my house hysterically at least for an hour celebrating that I achieved this, 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 this monumentous goal that I, had, that I wanted to create for so long in my life. And, and then 24 hours later, the celebration was over and the realization hit me, oh my God, Next year, I've got to do this all over again. It's not just doing a million dollars once, it's doing it again. And so like, like almost like picking myself up and starting all over again, starting from scratch, starting from zero. Now, obviously we're not starting from zero. We had, you know, um, members who were recurring students who would be enrolled for future classes. So I already knew that I had um, people coming in for the following year. So I knew that there was promised revenue, but this, I just couldn't shake this feeling of like, oh my God, I created this, 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 this success in my business through a lot of grind and hustle and pushing and forcing. And I did all the things that I learned from some of the most successful, the most famous, well-known names of the industry in, 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 in business coaching. And I'm not going to mention any names today, but you can probably guess who it was. So a lot, a lot of bro marketing tactics. And so a lot of the strategies and tactics are very much designed for the masculine way of doing business. And it's typically not really the way that a woman is, is built physiologically. She's not built to operate in that way. And so often what would happen, typically I, I would get sick every single year due to just like overworking. My team obviously were getting exhausted. They also loved the work. And I think this is why we get, kept going. I was just... Just, just today I was having a team meeting with my girls and we're just kind of reflecting back on the good old days of Berge on how we used to run things and, and just laughing ourselves at some of the beautiful cherished memories we had of all our students and the transformation and you know um, some of our students became well became an instructor of ours, um, became a part of our team, um, have so many of them gone on to become instructors themselves and just the beautiful transformations that we helped create over the span of gosh over like 16 16 years and but 
we all agreed that it was very much done from like this slave girl archetype. So I started seeking, I started seeking other, other ways to do business. And this happened around about 2018, where I was looking, uh, starting to look outside the healing space for other business models, other ways of doing things. And that's where I stumbled across the high ticket model. So I teach the high ticket model inside Soul Align Business. So for those of you who've been following me for a while, um, then you know of this program. This is my flagship program of how to create um, zero to 100K um, in your first year using the high ticket model very, very simply with just 12 clients, just 12. Okay, so it's a very, uh, very simple business model. It's a very comprehensive program. So I, I teach that. I learned it. I, 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 from other coaches and mentors, I gathered the, the vital important components to create a program that gives you everything you need to create your first hundred thousand um, dollars with grace, ease and joy and not with struggle like the way I used to. And so so I started my coaching business and I get coaching and mentoring in um, September, September of 2018. And that's where I started uh, a coaching and mentoring healers to build their business because I had created that result myself. And so then, because I had mastered and embodied it, I started teaching that to others. So then uh, 2019, I really felt like something was coming to an end. Like I just, I couldn't do this anymore. I couldn't do it at the sacrifice of not seeing my kids. My kids were growing up very, very quickly. There were a lot of weekends, a lot of weekends that I didn't see my kids, that basically my husband was raising my kids. I missed out all the sort of like milestones um, in their earlier years because I was busy teaching classes on weekends and throughout the week and then doing sessions in the evening. Um, and so even though I had other teachers, it's just simply the volume, the volume of classes we had behind the scenes to meet our goals and targets in our in our revenue. Um, just yeah, just didn't um, give space for for me to have time with my family. And so yeah, most weekends I was not home. My obviously my marriage obviously suffered because you know I was always working, and you know I didn't have time for my my husband. And so I had already started hinting to my my instructors that I feel like Bergeon, I, I want to sell it or get out. I couldn't do this anymore. Um, it was I loved the work, but I just wasn't sustainable. And so I started to let them know that yeah, that things were going to either like shift. I was like going to close down the business or or sell it. Um, or that it had to evolve right rapidly. So it was by 2019, I had already started like to start telling my internal team that major shifts needed to happen. And in the meantime, Anna Kidney Coaching and Mentoring was continuing to grow and scale as Soul Line Business became very quickly our flagship program as a self-study program with group coaching component. Um, and we were starting to get a lot of testimonials and results coming in through Soul Line Business. So I knew that what I had was coaching my clients one-to-one -one when it became Soul Line Business as a self-study and, and, and a mastermind program that members in there were getting results. I had something that was very robust, something that worked, um, and something that was really, really solid in my business. So that's a bit of a clue, right? Digital courses, that's part of my business model. And so 2020, I think everyone had a huge, big pivot in 2020. That really forced my hand because 2020, obviously um, uh, COVID had happened and um, all our live events were on hold. So we lost hundreds of thousands of pounds in revenue because we were not able to teach classes. And for like a few moments, let's say a couple of days, I panicked, like most people. Made some very bad decisions, but also made some really good decisions. During that time, I had two coaches, not one, but two. So even though I had lost, lost hundreds of thousands of pounds in missed lost revenue because COVID had happened, because we, our feeding classes were not available online. We were not permitted to teach online. Theta Healing um, is licensed. We're licensed by um, uh, Theta Healing Institute um, of Knowledge to, to, to offer these classes. They weren't available online. And so our revenue was only coming from private one-to-one -one sessions and from the money that was coming from the Anna Kitney coaching brand. So that kept Burge on the float. And so obviously, you know, some of our team got very, very ill um, with, with COVID as well. Obviously, thankfully, they, they recovered um, with, you know, supplementation and high level of nutrition and, and, and rest. Um, but it was a very, very scary time for all of us. 
I'm sure for you as well. Um, and that really forced my hand to really knuckle down and make some major shifts uh, in my business. And so one of the, the foundational things I shifted was my mindset. I had to let go of glorifying and deifying hard work. We create statues across the world to those who have died in battle. Uh, we, we have um, edified and exonerated people who have gone through struggle and great sacrifice, near-death experiences, or those who have died in the pursuit of their art, their craft. What if that was not required? What if that great sacrifice, that death, was not required? I started asking myself these questions because I could see that there was something broken with the way that business was done. And so I started seeking different coaches, different mentors, different teachings that would open up my mindset to another way of doing business, one that felt more aligned, one that brought the balance between the masculine and the feminine principles. And that's what I started teaching in She Power. I learned it, I mastered it, and then I started teaching it inside She Power, the mastermind. The balance of the masculine and feminine. How does a woman do business as compared to a man? All right, if you look at hormonal charts for a man, Okay, from morning to night, it goes like this. Okay, but then if you look at a woman's chart throughout an entire month, it kind of does this. Right, and so we are not designed for a nine to five. Physiologically, we're not designed to operate that way. That during certain times in our cycle, it's downtime for us. I am much more psychic, much more intuitive, much more like inward during my menstrual cycle. Right? So that's where I do my kind of program creation. That's where I do my reflection. That's where I'm working behind the scenes in my business. I have my team, systems, processes, automation, still marketing and selling for me in my business. So my business activity doesn't stop. Just simply because I get my period doesn't mean revenue stop in the business because I'm under a duvet with a cup of tea. Right. But I need to honor my energy during that cycle. Otherwise, I'm pouring from an empty cup. So I found that I was trying to be out there selling, marketing, pushing during the menstrual cycle, my sales would flop. How interesting is that? Because my cup was empty. I was releasing, I was clearing, I was letting go. It wasn't a time to be in my masculine, being out there pushing, selling, and, you know, and, and, and marketing my offices, me. Software systems and team was doing it, but me physically. So I started making some changes. So I created some new rules and non-negotiables. One, I declared that I decided that I was unavailable to sacrifice my relationship, my family, my kids for my work. Decided, that was it. So one of the first things I did is I blocked my calendar out. So school holidays, putting the holidays, all, the th all those things were put in first. Before I put in dates for any classes, events, trainings, school holidays were put in first. I appreciated, pre-planned, pre-decided that all the resources I needed were going to be there for me to rest, for me to spend time with my family. That was number one. I decided that I was going to honor myself and my body and my self-care. And I'm, I, I made it a part of my business model that we do um, business meetings over spa days, which was great. <laughs> In fact, um, Vanya Silverton um, and I always spoke about her book, her very first book, during a spa day. She was thinking about writing the book. And I was doing a bit of coaching mentoring on her while we were laying down getting our asses massaged. <laughs> and it gave her the confidence to write her first book. Often my big ideas happen in the sauna. The steam in there sitting with my, my mud mask. I get brilliant ideas in the steam room. Obviously not great for taking notes in because it's so humid and wet. But that's where I got all my great ideas. Men might do their business uh, brainstorming ideas in a boardroom. Ladies, it's going to be over a massage. Are going to be like goddess vibes? So I started honoring myself as the woman and started applying the feminine principles in business. How do I want to do business? How do I want to do life? I created new rules, non-negotiables for myself. 
self-care, exercise. I started, uh, I got myself a personal, um, it wasn't like a personal trainer, it was like a group. I didn't. I felt a bit lonely with just a one-to-one-on-one -on -one type scenario. So it was a small intimate group of around about eight to 12 people. And it was like a, it was like a personal training session where they watched your, your form, they it spoke to you about your requirements. And it was so much fun, lots of variety in every single class. So I started taking better care of myself. So often I was at the gym by the 6 a.m., the 6 a.m. class. So come home, shower, wash my, my long, long hair that I had at my desk by nine o'clock, okay? Typically Mondays, Mondays were kind of like the admin days. So this was like speaking to my accountant, team meetings with my team, because communication is vitally important in a company. When you've got more than one employee, communication is vital, okay? So behind the scenes, we use um, ClickUp to kind of project manage everything. We communicate via Slack inside our team. And often we're kind of going back and forth on yeah, Slack or, or WhatsApp um, to, for, for regular communication. So everyone's on top of what they need to be doing. So new rules. What are going to be your rules that you'd like to create for your business, regardless of whether you have team or not? Start how you want to finish. What are going to be your rules for your business? When you become the million dollar business, how do you want it to look like? Plan that vision in advance, paint that picture, write the script of how you want it to be. Where you're not a slave to the, to the job, where you're not an employee in your business, but you are the business owner. You may show up right, for your trainings with your clients, but the business continues to run without you. And so, New rules, mindset. Another mindset I started to change was clients sell themselves to me. I love that one. Instead of going into convincing, handling objections. Oh my God. I learned from some of the world's best coaches and mentors. And that strategy does work. That's a very masculine strategy, right? Trying to overcome objections, convincing people to buy. It's exhausting long form sales pages that would take days to create days to come and think of all the objection that a person may have before they purchase and so I, along the way i started finding new coaches new mentors who sold without a sales page without a discovery call without a funnel what how can this be well of course it exists there's so many ways to build business so many ways and so when you start, start asking questions, start asking different questions about that, the way that you want to do business, the right coach, the right mentor appears. You start to shift the way that you're doing things. So you're no longer a slave to your mission and calling, right? Because I'm doing my mission and calling. You know, I'm not living my, my fullest potential unless I'm showing up and doing my calling. So teaching, speaking, empowering, healing, coaching, like that is who I am. I'm in my beingness when I'm doing that. And if I'm not doing that, I'm not feeling full and complete. It's not enough just to, for me to be a mother and a wife. I love my children, I love my family, but it's just not enough. But the way that I get to do it, I get to choose that, the way that I do it. And so luckily, um, after some months, Vina Stiebel, the founder of Theta Healing, allowed our classes to be taught online and we started opening up doors for some of those Theta classes. So. Um, Bergeon has got some classes on the on the list now, so you can go to Bergeon.co.uk, have a look at our upcoming classes. We're finishing off next year's calendar in the next couple of weeks, um, and there's a wait list for us, some classes as well. So uh, if you're wanting to pick up your fitting journey with us, then you're more than welcome at Bergeon. But we're rebuilding that company in a whole different way, whole different way. It wasn't the easy thing to walk away from a million dollars, but it was the most loving thing I could have done, the most loving thing. Right? To not sacrifice for the sake of your business or your calling. You get to have it all. You truly do. And it starts with changing some decisions and creating some new rules. Yeah. So let's now um, briefly talk about the, um, the business model and strategy. So I changed my business model. So one of the things I implemented in Anakin Coaching and Mentoring was digital courses. 
So it's estimated this is going to be worth, uh, I think it was, yeah, $370 billion in 2026. So the online learning space is booming. Don't feel you're late in the game. Don't feel it's saturated. I feel the education system, not just like school, university, I'm talking all forms of education, is going to be transformed in the next 10 years. I've seen it. So those of you know, who know my work, I'm a psychic. I'm a seer. I can see into the future. And I've seen it. Kids are no longer going to want to go to university to spend three, four years learning something to come out with a stack load of debt and get a J-O-B for $25,000, $30,000 a year. They're not going to do it. Millennials are already checking out. Gen Z are not even entertaining the idea. They're not interested. So these universities are going to have to change their strategies quick smart. Right? People want, want accelerated learning. They want to pick their times. They don't want to sit, you know, travel to a lecture hall. Yeah. They want to learn skills, tools fast. They can implement and make cash right away. They, some of these uh, Gen Zs, they're not interested in working. They're interested in their money working for them. They're investing in things like crypto. And so the world economy is going to drastically change over the next, well, you're already seeing it. You're already seeing it. But certainly you're going to see it in your lifetime. Next 10, 15, 20 years, huge shifts are going to occur. And you either adapt or you fall behind. Simple as that. You adapt or you fall behind. Luckily, humans are very adaptable. But does require a shift in mindset to know that you are adaptable. And it gets to be easier. It actually gets to be easier. Technology is not meant to like take away jobs. It's there to support us, to help us evolve, to make life easier for us. And there's nothing wrong with making life easier. It's not lazy. It's productive. It's efficient. And it's based on one of the universal laws, law, the, uh, the, the law of least resistance, or the law of least effort, one of the universal laws. Birds don't struggle to fly, they just fly. Grass doesn't struggle to grow, it just grows. Why do humans feel we have to struggle? That somehow if we struggle, then we're, we're worthy and good enough and deserving enough to receive the abundance. That's the program I had. They felt really hard. I deserved my rewards. And so I worked my ass off to exhaustion until I decided I didn't want to play that game anymore. I was done. And that decision changed who I was. It created an identity shift in me in the way to work smarter, not longer, to become better, not faster. It's not about working faster, get more done in your day. It's about really identifying what are the needle movers in your business. It may be the one thing that you do that changes everything. Instead of spinning your plates, trying to do a hundred things, thinking that's the path to success. Less is truly more. Less is truly more. And so the business model I shifted into was one ultra high ticket. So I'd mastered high ticket, then I moved into ultra high ticket. Okay, so that's like $50,000 plus. Okay. And I've been doing this for 20 years now. So I think I've had my stripes. Let me know if this resonates, if this is landing for you. I know for some of you, you're still at startup stage. And I'm glad you're here because you're seeing a path that perhaps you do not want to repeat. And you can skip this whole uh, painful lesson and just go straight to law of least resistance or least effort, scaling your business with effortless flow, putting systems and structures in place that makes it so easy to prepare you for massive growth without overwhelm and overwork. 
if you already built a business and it feels like a monster, it's time to review some, some new rules, new rules. Yeah, that you're, you're seeing that it's just unsustainable for you to scale and grow to multiple um, six, seven, eight figures. It requires some different rules. Yeah. Just let me know if this resonates, guys. I'm not seeing any comments. So all you guys are just like watching me. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> just somebody. Yeah, thank you. Somebody commented. Great. So what virtues did I gain from the shift? Yeah, that's a really good question, Viana. Really good question. So one of the virtues is really honoring that self-care, self-love. There are so many deeper levels of self-love, loving yourself. So many levels. And that's an ongoing journey. Just when I think I love myself, I love myself even more. Love myself even more. So that doesn't necessarily mean by retail therapy or a spa day. There's many ways to love yourself. Loving yourself means gifting yourself time and space to reflect, to journal, downtime, which is incredibly productive, by the way. Some of my greatest ideas, inspirations, and transformations occurred just sitting in bed with my, my journal and just unpacking my thoughts to myself before anybody else needs me with my cup of matcha or herbal tea in bed, unpacking revelations, beautiful insights, beautiful teachings. Yeah, that was one of the most profound ones. Um, the other one was not so much necessarily um, balance, but more like harmony. The harmony between the masculine and feminine. There are times when I am in my, my masculine energy, in my hustle, and I'm not I'm trying to undermine the hustle. It's still required. In business, you still have to sell a market. You've got to get your hustle on. Make sales, because if you're not making sales, you haven't got a business. If cash is not coming through your business, you haven't got a business, you have a hobby. So that is still required. So not learning how to effectively sell a market. But can you also infuse it with the feminine principles of allowing? Can you allow yourself to receive plenty without feeling guilty or ashamed for receiving money for your great work? Yeah. So those are just some of the virtues. So yes, the identity shift. I had to change how I saw myself and my self-concept. Okay. So I did a whole masterclass on that called the identity shift. Oh, such a juicy masterclass. Oh my God. It was so good. So good. Like I, I condense my teachings. I don't like fluff in a program. So I condense the teachings into that masterclass of how to do the identity shift. Um, and yeah, if you do iconic, you actually get that as a bonus. So then we've, we've talk, briefly talked about the mindset shifts, some of the mindset shifts. Um, business model, I shifted to ultra high ticket and to scale and grow my online digital courses. We have over 75 products inside the Anna Kidney Company now um, with digital courses. And so I've got people with who are, have paid in full and people who are on payment plans. So I now have what's called monthly recurring revenue, MRR. This is a game changer in business for scaling, a game changer. So I taught that concept and how to do that in the Limitless Mastermind, which is now a self-study course, okay? And new modules get added to that um, in the future. And once you're in, in any of our masterminds, you get to keep it for life. And any new live rounds of the mastermind, you get to join again and again. We've had people inside Soul Line Business for like three, four years. And every time they, they re-listen to the, or they, re, they come and listen to the live mastermind calls, they up-level their business yet again yet again. Magdalena um, is one of those people that's done that. She joined early on, you know, now she's doing like, um, I think it was like one point, or no, I think it's 1.5, 1.4 million, 1.4 million, written multiple books on public speaking, speaking engagements. She's up levels every single live of the round. So once you're in the mastermind, you get to come and join at no extra cost um, in the future. I don't charge extra for joining the following year. So Limitless is the mastermind I taught how to do monthly recurring revenue. So whether I get my ass out of bed or not, my business makes money. I have money coming into my account every day. It was a game changer. So if I don't put an offer out, I still make money. So, but I'm still selling new things. I'm still marketing. I'm still selling. I'm still creating offers. Um, not from place of chasing the money, but because I love the work. If I'm not you know, creating programs, if I'm not teaching, if I'm not empowering, I literally feel like something is missing. I'm, I'm not in my beingness. My beingness is to speak, to teach, to empower. It's who I am. It's what I was born to do. It's what fulfills me. 
So I still continue to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So that was the business model, shifting to your ultra high ticket and to creating monthly recurring revenue through digital courses, which is a game changer, a game changer. So you don't have to necessarily have to create your own digital courses. You can be an affiliate. So we have an affiliate program inside our company. So um, if you've purchased one of our courses and you love it and you have great results, you can join the affiliate program and promote that course and get paid. Everything ranging from 10% to 50% on our programs. So basically you're making money through promoting our courses. That's one way you can create monthly recurring revenue. So when one of your people purchase um, and you sell our course to them and they, they purchase it on a monthly payment plan, you get payments. Yeah, so can you see how it can be fun and easy? They're promoting our work because it, you got a great result. It changed your life. And now you're gonna share it with your, your, your family, your peers. Okay. And so, ah, so finally, before we, before we wrap, this was just a sort of a taster of some of the shifts that I, that I made. I, I can say so much more on this particular topic, so much more. I have taught these comp components of what I, I spoke to you today in the Limitless Mastermind, in um, the She Power Mastermind, and now the current Mastermind, which is Iconic. Iconic is about creating the identity shift, changing how you see yourself, how you see yourself, because you can never outdo your self-concept. You could be pushing, forcing, hustling, grinding, but if how you see yourself is not someone who is successful making money while you sleep, then it won't happen. No matter what, you can have the best strategy in the world, but unless you change how you see yourself, none of that outside stuff will work. So changing self-concept is a game changer in your business and in your life. That's number one, okay? The Iconic Program also will teach you um, brand, how to build a brand. This is something I've never taught on before, um, this is a, 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 this may not be relevant for those who are at startup stage. Startup stage, you just need your first few clients, get cash to the bank. Soul line business is where you need to be. Perfect place for you. Yeah, you get the equivalent of MBA like in eight weeks, All right? For a fraction of the price, by the way. <laughs> and it's a really affordable payment plan for you there as well. Okay, but if you are looking to scale up your business without the burnout, yeah, then yeah, she power. Um, and uh, Limitless and Iconic are, are the kind of mastery level teachings of my work. So if you're kind of at 100,000 and you're looking to scale up without the overwhelm burnout, because what gets you to 100,000 and then what gets you to half a million, it's not the same. There's like, you, you push and force your way to 100,000. After that, like it's just, it's, it's unsustainable to keep doing that to get to your half a million. It's just not, there's not enough hours in the day you'll be exhausted and you'll resent your business. And so it requires a different mindset shift and a slightly different strategy. Yeah. And so when you are at this level of, of, of growing and scaling your business, the way that you then next elevate is through your brand. And your brand is not just logos and pretty colors. Okay. In my early, early career as a graphic designer and art director, I worked at some of the top um, ad agencies in Sydney and, um, and in London, working on some really big campaigns worth multiple millions of dollars. I know how to market and sell just about anything. And I, if, like, you name it, I've pretty much sold it. Luxury cars, yachts, um, apartment buildings, toothpaste, dog food, cat food, lipstick, washing powder. <sighs> Like the list goes on, I've sold just about everything, everything, including service services, from energy healing sessions, courses, coaching, mentoring, I've sold it all. And so the way that you elevate next is through really defining your brand, your unique selling proposition, why are you different to everybody else, learning effective messaging so that you are attracting the right people to your business that you're speaking directly to your promised people instead of attracting the masses who basically don't have the money to pay for your service and you feeling guilty that you can't charge for what you do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Maria says, God bless you. And I followed you from, from when you came to London, you changed my life. <laughs> I'm older, but but still you can do more because you always listen to you. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. 
I think we've we've touched the lives of like tens of thousands of people around the world with our work. This is why I do what I do. I love it. I still love it. Okay. All right. So my beautiful souls, I'm going to do a little bit of an energy clearing um, as because uh, I know you know you guys love it. I know you guys love it. I just say a kind of a caveat. It's not a rep- it's not a replacement for coaching, mentoring, and healing. You still need to go and do some some deeper digging on yourself. But it does start to re- um, start to reprogram your mind and start to create new neural pathways in your brain to start thinking differently. Okay, so um, it'll be done in all languages, all aspects. You just need to give me a yes in the chat. This will still work if you're watching a replay. Think of it as a pre-scheduled healing above the planet. And so when I ask the divine to to, this, to give you this kind of like download, um, then um, the change will be made on every level of your being. Okay, so I'm just going to tune into everyone watching live. Everyone's going to watch the replay in the future. Okay, so can the credible that is teach me show you that you already know what it feels like? To create a life and business from love and joy and expansion. Is that okay? Thank you. Can release any vows, oaths, contracts to be a slave to the money or a slave to your clients or a slave to your business. Is that okay? Thank you. Can release any vows, oaths, contracts to sacrifice your life or your livelihood for your mission, your calling, your purpose or God's work. Can we let that go now and to show it was never required? And that you can do God's work in this lifetime with grace, ease, joy, and through the path of least resistance. Would you like this? Thank you. Can we release anywhere that it has to get worse before it gets better? Can we let that go? And replace it with the better it gets, the better it get gets. Is that okay, please? Thank you. And that you know what it feels like to honor your cycle so that you can optimize your cycle in the way that you run your business, in the way that you run your life. Is that okay? So this obviously is relevant for the ladies, right? We're talking about the menstrual cycle here, guys, okay? Thank you. Okay, let's, um, okay, I feel like some of you are really tied to like, um, feeling like you're a slave to your social media, feeling like you have to constantly post. Uh, it's obviously Instagram and other people who are promoting um, a certain way of doing Instagram want you on there every single day posting and commenting as a way to get business. So I built my business along before social media. So like Instagram is not the be or end all of your business. You still get to make money. So let's release anywhere that you're a slave to social media where you feel like you have to be constantly posting and always be on there as a way to make money in sales and to show that whatever's meant for you is meant for you, that your clients will still find you, that there are other ways that clients can find you and that you're available for all the ways in which clients can find you and all the ways that you can market and sell your services without constantly being on social media and a slave to social media. Is that okay? Thank you. So as it comes in, this comes in, you might get some different ideas about the way that you might do your social media, like pre-planning in advance, 
so you could pre-plan your content for the, for the next 30 days and not have to touch social media for 30 days as it automatically posts content for you. Or you might outsource to somebody to run that part of your business. Okay, um, next, as I'm tuning in to everyone, I feel like there's some fears around making a shift from the hourly model to the high ticket model. Um, I talk more about this in Soul Line Business and how you do that without destabilizing your business. There's a whole strategy in there on how to do that very, very easily. Um, but let's just release that you're kind of trapped by the hourly model that nobody will buy you know, a package of say $2,000 for, for, for like 12 sessions. Let's release that and just show there is a client for every price point. Is that okay? Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Okay. And so the last piece of guidance I'm getting for you guys is there's a price for waiting. That price is time, obviously, but also money and potential. If you don't invest in yourself with a coach, a mentor, a program, if you decide not to enroll in a program that calls you, then there's a price for that. Right, you think you're saving money, thinking, oh, I'll figure it out myself. I'll like learn it off YouTube. And you can definitely like find bits and pieces of YouTube to teach you certain components and do it yourself. But it may take you 10 years or longer. Or you can invest in a coach, a mentor, a program that shortcuts that for you. And there is a cost with that too. An investment but the time that you save will far outweigh the money that you've you've invested and when you apply what you learn you'll get a return on your investment and ROI so there's a price for waiting and we tell ourselves stories it's not the t right time yet because it's coming up to Christmas it's not the right time yet because the kids are you know finishing school soon it's not the time yet because my husband has like just left his job and he's transitioning it's not the time yet because we're moving house it's not the time yet because in-laws are visiting it's not the time yet not the time yet, not the time yet and you, if that's you, you will continue telling those stories for years or decades to come and then one day you'll wake up and you will not be where you wanted to be and you'll be filled with regret because you allowed yourself to make excuses. You'll either have excuses or you'll have results. Simple as that. And so I'm calling to all those who are adults, not children. I'm calling all those who are adults who want to move into sages. Where you're walking the path, doing your great work on this world, through the vehicle of business that allows you to monetize your gifts, to provide for your family, to have your needs met and to have plenty and overflow to pour into others. So this is who I'm speaking to. And so if any of these programs that I mentioned today really call to you, then obviously get onto a clarity call with our team, have a look at the website, anakitney.com. I've mentioned a few of the programs. There's lots of information on there. Any questions, you can just chat to one of our team and decide to invest to create next year a better year than, to, than, than, than you have so far, to make the next 10 years of your life better than the previous 10. Something's gonna change, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Whether you're watching live or you've found this replay somehow, you found it exactly the right time that you needed to find it, especially if you've gotten this far. You've been listening to me speak for this long. All right, it's time to make a change. And you can get the help and support to create the results you want. Imagine where you could be a year from now if you implemented monthly recurring revenue in your business. Where if you didn't make a sale today, you knew you'd have money today in your business. How would that feel? You knew that you had a guaranteed amount of money coming every single month on repeat, regardless of whether you sold a new offer or did a client session. 
regardless if it was Christmas or Easter, that there was money in the bank every single day. How will that change your life? Imagine if you finally truly understood how to transform your self-concept and you continue to up level, not just once, but again and again and again to create your life even more beautiful, to change the way that you look, the way that you feel, the way that you show up, the way that you speak, the way that you do life, to create higher standards of yourself, to become the person you knew you were always destined to be. Who would you become if you showed up as this best version of you, this next level version of you? Not 10 years from now, but now, today. From today, you decided that you are this next best version of you now and showed up from that place. What moves would you be making? What decisions would you be doing? What would you be saying and to whom? What offers would you be putting out? How differently would you be marketing and selling your business if you're playing a bigger game, showing up as your best self? Imagine when you have built a solid brand where you've got credibility, a strong reputation in the marketplace, where you are the go-to person for your zone of genius. How would that feel when people know you by name? That people drop your name all over the world How would that feel to know that your people, your clients are raving fans and are referring you business? That you've built a solid brand around the world, recognized, that stands for something. That you are known for your message. What idea do you want to represent? That's what Iconic is all about. Becoming the embodiment of an idea. Uh, when you think of Nelson Mandela, right, the famous kind of pose, it's freedom. Nelson Mandela, that name represents freedom. Princess Diana, the icon, she represented compassion for children. She did lots of things in her life, but that's the idea that she took a stand for. That's how you create impact and a movement around the planet. You take a stand for an idea. You raise your hand to become one of the greats, to lead others in their greatness. That's going to require some skills to develop. The virtue of courage, persistence, temperance, benevolence, generosity, healthier boundaries, effective communication, leadership skills. It's going to become, you are going to become more of who you are. That part of you is already in there, waiting, waiting to be unleashed upon the world. And five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, you wake up. Did you live a good life? A good life. You ate well beautiful home, a beautiful family, loving relationships, supportive friends, a phenomenal A player team, a company, a brand you are proud of, global impact you created through your movement. Did you show up in the best way you possibly could? The choice is yours. Thank you so much, beautiful souls. I hope you enjoyed today's masterclass felt like a different energy to my usual, but this is what I was called to share with you today. These are the shifts I've made in my life and I'm continuing to up-level and grow. My identity is continuing to evolve and shift. My business is continuing to evolve and shift. It's an ongoing evolution that doesn't stop and life can truly become beautiful. For those of you who don't know me, I've, I've recently um, moved from London to Dubai. One of those decisions was a lifestyle change. I wanted more sunlight. I wanted the ocean. I wanted palm trees. I wanted a city that was safe. 
I wanted delicious food that actually has flavor. And I wanted to reduce my taxes so I could give more and have more. That occurred when I made the identity shift. Someone who was no longer willing to tolerate certain standards in my life. And it cooled me, it moved me. It took courage and faith. And here I am. <laughs> in my caftan, by the way. <laughs> it's like 32 degrees <laughs> in November. I love it. I love it. I'm exactly where I needed to be. And this land actually called me. This land, I feel like there is some great work I'm here to do on this land in the Gulf. The women here. From all around the world, but on this land specifically, it's calling me. And so here I am. Okay, my beautiful souls, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed today's training. If you do anything from today, take some form of action. An action that propels you and moves you to the next level. The worst thing you can do is just like listen and then don't take any action. Whether it's an up level in your personal life, maybe um, getting a personal trainer, joining a gym, up, up leveling the quality of your supplementation, improving your standards in your business, said taking a CEO day where you take a whole day out, take yourself into a hotel away from like kids, leave them with your husband or the in-laws and you work on your business, not in your business, you work on your business. Sit down with a big piece of paper and really start declaring what is it you want in your business? How do you want it to look like? Who is the team that you want that will support you? And create your game plan. Game plan. Brendan Bouchard calls it a battle plan. I don't want it to be a battle plan. I want it to be a game plan. I want it to be fun and joyful. It's still the same thing, we're just giving a different term and therefore a different intention. But from to say, decide, decide. What do you need in your life to support you to the next level? And make some form of investment in yourself. A coach, a mentor, a program, a course, something that's gonna teach you what you need to know to go to the next level, faster, easier, cheaper, actually. It'll be far more cost effective to have somebody show you rather than trying to figure it out yourself. That is costly, more than you realize, more than you realize. Yeah. Okay, my beautiful souls, thank you so much, everyone. I will see you inside of progress. If you've got any questions, you can always book in a clarity call uh, with our team. Good night.